Right, let me try this out. Put tape over her eyes. I suppose I could try this, but let's take a closer look at the painting. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, finally found out how to do it. Look closer. Use. Whoa. What the fuck? Why is a hidden passage? <gasps> okay. Hello. Where the fuck am I now? Oh shit. Is that Dr. Z? Have I seen this woman before? No, that's impossible. No, I have seen her, I think. So this is why he never came back. Take saw. Hmm. Um poor Dr. Z. Oh, bottle. Oh, what's that? A bottle of gin, not really my sort of drink. Nah, I'm more of a whiskey guy myself. Okay, so... I now have gin and a saw. What does that achieve exactly? At least now I can get them to blow up. Hmm. Alright, let's try and get this pig's brain. Still don't know what the blend is for, though. Hello, piggy. Um, I'm going to saw your head off. Uh. Yes? Yeah, I thought so. Nice. Sorry, pig. Hi. Would you like a brain? Yeah, okay. I thought I had to look closer first. Okay, uh, just... Pig's brain. There you go. There. Brought it back. You're a liar. I don't think it's gonna work though. Uh, let's try it. I switched it on. Right. If this doesn't work, then I have no idea what to do. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry. Mm hmm. Got it under control. Stand back, Agnes. Yes, it worked. It's gonna blow. Ready? Hey, Harrison. You suck. Hey, you wouldn't have a, a cigarette, would you? I'm all out, and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. That's that's actually weird. You say that because I do have a cigarette. There you go. Do you want another one? Yeah, why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like the smoke. Bye, Harrison. I'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> this time you will not be right back. Ready? Steady. Agnes, don't, don't know. Agnes, where are you going? Don't get too close. Yes! Haha, <laughs> fuck you, Harrison. Joe. Um. <laughs> it's true when they say that uh, smoking kills. At least he went out with a bang. Now he's half the man he used to be. These are all terrible jokes. At least he went out with a bang. Shut up, Joe. 
Just shut up. Sorry. Hmm. So I assume these are dead in here too now. Oh yeah, of course. Whoa. Well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. I... I had to do this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are? Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And... Stay close, please? Okay. <laughs> Oh, all right? No, I'm not all right. What happened? I tripped over some legs. Harrison, always an asshole. Even after death. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. Maybe if you look where you're going, you might. Oh, wait, where's the shotgun then? Can I not get it? Unless it blew into this room. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! This is Coast different. Clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? Keep your it eyes closed. It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. You. Hello, human head. Recipe. <gasps> I have the recipe for blueberry pie. So examine the head. Rotten human head, it seems to be looking straight at me. No, I will not eat you. Well, I have to take the head. Um, okay. This is crazy, but... That message carved on the head. It makes me think I should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Where the hell did you just put that? Someone's a bitch about- Ah, oh, fat bit. Ah, oh, fuck you. These demons are assholes. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay. Oh, lump of fat. All that's left of her is this lump of fat. What? Oh yeah, recipe. Ugh, my fattening smoothie recipe. Deep fried belly fat, one pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head, Oregano, one leaf. Mm. Blend it together and enjoy. So the bud does have its use. Hey Harrison, you blew up. You suck. Um, can we go and see if the other Sophie's okay now? Sophie. I kind of blew up your boyfriend. Don't look at me. Please. Oh. Okay, bye then. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. Right. Okay. So. Do I need to cook it as well? I assume I do. Blender. Right, what do I start with? Oh, wrong note. Shit. It's a P. Read. Okay, so... <clears throat> so I need to fry the belly flat. Flat? Fat? Fucking hell. And a pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head, and one leaf of marijuana. Blend it together and enjoy. 
Okay, so let's start with turn on the hob. It's not okay. Right, put the back in the hob. Can't throw it without. <sighs> do I just use the castor oil? I assume I do. Yes. Okay. Right. So you're cooking us dinner now? No, it's not for us. Oh, good. Good. Because they're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No? I think I'll try anyway. And then we add the fat. Actually, no, I haven't even turned it on yet. <laughs> right. Let's deep fry some fat. What's next? Uh, okay, glass of spirit, then the human head, and then oh, uh, okay, spirit. Oh, do I take this off first? You just take deep fried, yeah. Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thanks, Agnes. Thanks. You're welcome. My trusty sidekick. Right. Um, so, put that in the blend. What? In the blender. Blender. Thank you. Then we need. I assume the oil is already. Oh no, okay. So I need castor oil. And then some gin. The human head. What you doing there, Joe? Nothing. Um. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Is that is that a human head? No. If you don't like it, don't look. But you can't. Watch me. <laughs> Joe, you rebel. Okay. Um. What was after that? I put the gin in, and then. Yeah. Now, blend it all up. <laughs> the head poking out. I'm sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise, it was too much. I, I have no idea what was just happened then. This is our best shot, and we've got to take it. 
I'm not exactly enjoying it either, you know. You're really doing it all for your wife? Why else would I do such things? She'd better be worth it. Come on then, and don't forget to take your smoothie. It's probably being stolen now. By a smoothie thief. Hey, smoothie. I'm to take you. I'm gonna turn this hob off. I can't turn it off, okay. Just waste gas then. See if this soapy would like a smoothie. It's a special birthday smoothie, Sophie. Oh, she's gone. Great. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No, not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? Oh I bet no! It's got something to do with her. You think she took it? But where? Oh! Don't say she's fucking eating him. Um, Harrison's room. Harrison's room? The one on the second floor. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Oh man! I got a feeling she's eating him. It's 203, wasn't it? Yeah. Ivy! Oh! Ivy? You're alive! Whoa, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. What? What the fuck is going on? No. It's Ivy. Just there. On the floor. Really? Where? I can't see anything. She was there just a minute ago. Great, Joe's going crazy too. Get torn in half. Joe, you're either losing the plot or you really love her, don't you? She wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop loving her. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Ha! I'd give you a medal if I had one, but I don't, so how about a fist bump? Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Uh, I like the little bits of comedy in this game. I want Agnes. I think it was 203. Oh, no. Oh, it's you. Hello. Hello. Come in. Come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We've got visitors. Oh, fuck. You must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit today yeah I kind of uh, blew him up <laughs> no worries let him sleep no worries let him sleep oh I'm so excited we've had a good talk and he's promised to change his ways now he will never walk away from me again <laughs> <laughs> he has no legs sure he won't he couldn't if he tried lucky you he couldn't if he tried um, hmm. I've got something for you. Oh, how nice! What is it? I've found this recipe for a smoothie. <gasps> My secret recipe! Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, I've got it, and I made it for you. Sweet! It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... 
I can stop them tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. I won't. There you go. Uh, I'm sorry, Sophie. gonna explode. Oh. Fuck that. What have we done, Joe? We did what we had to do. I'm wondering if, as soon as these all break, like we break the mirror completely, it's just going to release something even worse. Ugh. I guess if anyone asks, we weren't here. Oh fuck! Hello. Joe. Don't go do in there. Do you realise how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> We just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. So is she the... Joe. Of a Sophie. Whatever she's got to say, do no, not she... trust this woman. Yeah. I just feel it. She's not... A real person. No, no, I get with that, don't worry. Alright. So, can we kill the other one yet? I don't know. Let's just go to our office, see what happens. Oh. I liked the piano music. Um, that no, wasn't this one, was it? It was somewhere up here. Yeah. She better not have Ivy here. I'll punch her in the eye. Ah, oh, and here's my American boy. I knew you'd come, but I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. Um, I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. You should have warned us, you should have told us to leave. Yeah. I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. What's stopping you, Joe? Um. Don't push me, bitch. Don't push me. Why not, Joe? Do you get... Violent when you're pushed against the wall. So what if I do? Nothing. I just wanted you to admit that. Okay. It's time you've told me who you really are. You know very well who I am. I am your secret little desire, Joe. Your perfect woman. I'm Bullshit. Her or tired, or not in the mood. Instead, I'm composed, and strong, and spontaneous. I don't burden you with my baggage of problems. I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. To forget about that little bitch, Ivy. To run away, and be happy. What do you say, Joe? 
Go fuck yourself. No, I'm not that kind of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems, and you were always there for her. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before, when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again, just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. But let's play a little game first. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You Agnes have Puncher. a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her, but we might have no choice. A perfect weapon. Tempting. Do we really need it, though? Oh shit, we dropped the saw. Why? Ah. Oh. Guess we have no choice. Follow the trail. Where's this trail then? Oh, a shoe. Examine. It's her shoe. So, can I oh. go out the door now? No, okay. She. Uh, oh, okay. She went this way. Stocking. So she's getting naked. Black stocking. Clearly she's left it here for me. Maybe she's cooking us some dinner. Or maybe she's really a pig. Hmm. Okay. Secret passage inside a fridge. Should I be surprised? Not really. Let's go. Panties. Really? You don't actually have to pick them up. White panties. She must be getting clothes. She's already taken most of her clothes off. <laughs> Perv. <laughs> uh, okay. What's that? Oh, it's a bra. Okay. Come on, Agnes. Just a second. I think I saw something. Agnes, what are you doing? Turns out it was nothing. Oh fuck. Hey, wait for me. Oh no. I'm playing tag. Hello? Joe, let me in. Shit. Fuck. Now what? Crowbar. Can't. What? Of course you can. Crowbar the door open. Shove a fork in it then. No. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. What? Is this Ivy's. Ivy's brain? Oh, this is getting weird. What the hell? Only darkness this way. Let's go. Alright, let's not go. Do I need to right, crowbar the mirror? Oh, uh... Crowbar this mirror. No. Crowbar this mirror. No, okay. Oh shit. Run! What? Agnes! What? What took you so long, handsome? Oh. Welcome to my private bedroom, Joe. Come closer. Don't be shy. 
Killer. Pick the axe up now. Ugh. Why won't you just explain all of this to me? No, she's not beautiful. She's a bitch. Why won't you just explain all of this to me? What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? I don't fancy you. No? Then tell me this. On your way here, when you found my pants, <laughs> did you examine them? Uh, yes, but that was because I was looking for clues, obviously. God. Yes, but I was just... No excuses, Joe. You couldn't resist and that's okay. I wanted you to examine them. But really, I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh, but didn't we already have this conversation? Twice. Right. Um... Yeah, but every time we do, you tell me exactly nothing. Cover yourself up as well. Yeah, but every time we do, you tell me exactly nothing. Fine. I'll tell you a secret. Okay. This hotel is built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Of course it is. Wh what? You'd believe anything at this point, wouldn't you? Except the truth, of course. That one is always hard to accept. <sighs> no, I don't think she's beautiful. She's a fucking bitch. I've seen this axe before. Why are you trying to seduce me? Why are you trying to seduce me? Because you and me are a perfect match, Joe. We are meant to be together. Just imagine this. No more silent treatments. No more crazy talk. No more of any of that shit. You don't deserve it. You never did. All relationships have their problems. Doesn't mean you can't love someone just because they've got a bit of baggage. Fuck now, man. I've seen this axe before. This axe? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's just an ordinary fire axe. We keep it here in case of, you know, fire. There's blood on it. <sighs> Maybe just a drop or two. What is it doing here? It's a gift for you. I told you. This axe will be your final weapon. Stop giving me the choice to say that. You're expecting me to murder someone with this axe. This axe would come in handy for sure. This axe would come in handy for sure. I think you'll look good with an axe. A an real axe. killer. Don't call me that. You've already murdered a bunch of people today. And some animals. They were not real people. Look, I'm not saying it bothers me. All I want is for us to be together. But that's not going to happen unless you take this axe and remove that one last obstacle right I'm going to kill you 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 well you could take an ox and kill me I suppose but that wouldn't be very wise and why is that the way I see it you've been the biggest obstacle all along there is something way worse Joe you fail to realize that because she's always had this smile on what are you talking about? The creature standing right behind you. You didn't mistake her for a friend by any chance, did you? That sweet, naive little Agnes. Her only purpose was to stop you in your tracks. She was lying to you all along. Just look at her. This is the real Agnes. The parasite that you have to kill. No. I don't believe you. It's your choice. But deep down you know what you've got to do. Grab that ox. Take a big swing. And fuck her up. So now it's my fire axe. Let's just see how it feels in my hands. Oh, fucking hell, Joe. 
You can do it, Joe. So how do I attack this bitch then? Do it. You really think I'll fall for these lies? Yes. The only monster in you, fucking bitch. I hope that wasn't the wrong choice. <laughs> Agnes, I killed the manageress. Sophie, I'm coming for you. Oh this shit! Is the end. So Joe's actually the one who's insane. I am really hoping I didn't make the wrong choice. Ah, oh, of course cool, she's gone. Or he, whatever it was. Great, she's locked the door behind her. That's not gonna stop me. <laughs> Here's Johnny. None of this makes any sense to me. Don't tell me Joe's a fucking. He's the one who's. Looks like I don't him. need the axe anymore. I play the piano after dark for two minutes. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> it <laughs> seems to be coming from Joe's flat. Yes! We get to play as the cat lady. Examine. Oh no, it's running low again. This is This is the same... As the cat lady. Oh my god. Great, the fire axe is missing. Oh no. The door's wide open. Hello? It's me you're looking for. What? End of the road, bitch. Just ask the cat. Hello. I'm here to chainsaw you. I really hope this isn't actually Ivy.
fuck is going on? She was dead the whole time. Dead. All of this. For nothing. Except. I will never give up on you. Never. There's still a way to bring you back. Oh, don't do it. dresser or what's he hiding in there? Yeah, of course it's locked. Looks like flies are having a great time on that disgusting plate of rotten food. Ugh, I guess I'm going down the hole. Oh, okay. Uh, rope. Use. I'll tie it to the chair. It should easily hold my weight. Think you're going. What you got there, son? Another dead body to add to the list? Dad. You know, your mother always loved Robbie more. He was such a happy kid. Always smiling. And you. You let him fucking die. It was an accident, and you know it. You were supposed to watch him. Is it so hard to take care of your younger brother for five fucking minutes? He didn't want to listen. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore. My life ended the moment. Your mother. You remember. You were there too. You didn't even cry. Goodbye, Dad. I'll finish my cigarette and I'll go. There's nothing left for me here. You're a grown man. This home is yours now. Enjoy.
I see you have taken matters into your own hands, young man. I do appreciate a good initiative, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. Why? I thought you were dead. No! No! Death is but a state of mind, and my mind has always been a wandering one. What do you want? I felt inclined to inform you that what you are trying to achieve here is, well, pointless. Why? It worked before. I brought Agnes back. This whole idea was flawed from the start. There simply isn't enough power here to alter the subject's state of mind. No one has that kind of power. Well, except the subject herself, perhaps. But as you see, sadly, she is not willing to cooperate. What am I supposed to do? Your only option would be to turn around, leave, and never come back here again. Just like that. You've caused quite a stir, you see. Not everyone might perceive your actions as an act of chivalry. They... They won't understand. They never do. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. You are a stubborn one. So fine, go and see for yourself. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. Right, what did I... Generator. It must take so much of power this thing. Should be able to monitor Ivy's parts. Okay. Let's try it. If you were alive, that blade wouldn't have already stuck. What? If you were alive, that blade would have been already stuck in my throat for sure. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Can I take it? Oh. Pipe. There's an old rag stuck inside the pipe. Maybe I should take it out. Okay. Broken sink. I'm having a long hot bath once I'm done with this. Oh, but not here, obviously. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Broomstick. I assume I'm gonna fashion a weapon out of all this stuff. Oh, this is normal. this oh god there are charred remains of a cat inside no way so all this actually happened in joe's head by the looks of it interesting crafting table you can build a weapon here so arm. 
some cloth. What? Except maybe he's to unscrew a hot light bulb, but I don't need any light bulbs. Hello, use the broomstick. Okay. And the cat skull. Now what? What else do I need then? Can I use the cloth now? So how do I unscrew? Uh, let me see that in a sec. Susan, we need some. We need something. Ah, broken glass. Okay. A big piece of glass could be useful, but it looks too short to pick. Ah, okay. I see. So. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, fire axe walls, fire extinguisher. Can I use the fire extinguisher? No, okay. Yep. Oh, I can't go into a flat. I want to see the cat. Oh well. Alright, let's go and kill Joe. Because I think that's what's going on here. Okay, let's go and make a weapon. Yes. Hmm. Let's stick this glass shard onto the mannequin arm and see what happens. Okay. But it's not going to hold as it is. I should secure the whole thing now so it doesn't fall apart as soon as I pick it up. Are there anything in here? Sink, bath, no, nothing. If I can, I oh, now I can. I have take. to be careful not to cut myself. Okay, it's a bit weird. But can I take? No, I still can't take the rope. Ah, do I need to use it on the rope to cut a piece off? No, okay. Crafting a weapon then. Um, oh, blade. Use. These two seem made for each other. And what if I screw this skull on top to make it more sturdy? Right. Done. So you don't look like the Grim the Reaper. Ultimate cat lady weapon. <laughs> I'm taking it with me, yes. I like it. Scythe, yeah. I am now the Grim Reaper. Oops. Oh, this is getting creepier now. something shiny stuck inside the pipe but there's no way I'm putting my arm in that filthy sewer pool hmm okay has it worked? Ivy? Uh, no. no you useless piece of junk you worthless fucking shit. I'm sorry, Joe. I wouldn't it. worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane. And now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. Fuck That's you, Harrison. That's fair if you ask me. It's people like you who made her think this way. No matter how many times I told her she was beautiful, it was always there. This sickness. This twisted state of mind. It's all your fault. Your lies. 
your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? I may remember lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? <sighs> but she is nothing like that. What difference does it make now? You found the way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She was starving herself to death. <laughs> well, you know what they say. No pain, no gain. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Ruby. Sorry, too. What do I do now? Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. But if he could answer that, he would have said, Give up. This is the end. Accept it and embrace it. This is not the end. We'll find another way. Naive little fool. You are the sixth parasite. And the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. Agnes. Sup, Joe. Missed me? Yeah, kinda. I thought you were dead. Where were you? I kept looking for you. But I couldn't find you. Until now, that is. It's good to see you, Agnes. You know... I... I failed. She... She's dead. That's exactly why I'm here, Joe. You can't bring Ivy back because something is missing. And I know what it is. But how? Because I finally got it. I know who I am. And I know why I'm here. I knew it. She is Ivy. that part of Ivy that I fell in love with. And that dress is the dress she got married to me in. Now you recognize it. I'm... I'm a bloke. I don't think about dresses much. Come on, Joe, seriously. But I remember it now. Good. Then there's only one thing left to do. But... It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Let's bring her back to life. Oh, shit. Mm. Okay. Joe, if this works... Be good to her. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. That thing you do when you laugh. I love it. I 
can be myself around you. I've been making myself sick. I'll help you. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I could never be mad at you. Susan, stay out of this. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, neighbor, but I happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. What if it worked? Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mrs. A? I heard noises and... Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own. Thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. What the hell? Don't touch her. He's been frying her with these electric wires. So stay back, Mitzi. There's a switch over there. Let's shut it down. Wait. I think... I think she's alive. Oh, well, she was. <sighs> oh. Uh, you kind of made Joe angry. Countryside Hotel, the kind you always liked. We can start again. We will start again there.
What? 26 out of 27. Ending A on the run. So what did I miss? Hmm. Murder escapes from crime scene. Authorities are investigating the cause of a, a fire that broke out in the apartment building at Helen Road last night. Firefighters have discovered several bodies inside. Our sources confirmed that at least five of them had already been dead when the fire started. Suspected of the crime is Joe D, one of the residents of the building. A witness saw him carrying a charred body towards his car. The police are looking for him, but as for, as for now, his whereabouts are unknown. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, that was downfall. Okay, that was not what I expected at all. I had a feeling that Joe might have been a bit crazy, like, but I didn't realise it was all him. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this series. I hope you all enjoyed it. And maybe I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.